Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to load up media on your Android tablet. Now, in this case, I have the Asus ePad Transformer Prime running Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich. And I have it here in front of you. And behind that, I have my Windows laptop. So I'm going to need both of these in order to load up media on this device. Now, obviously, with an Android tablet, you can download media directly to it. So you don't necessarily need a Mac or a PC or a Linux computer to load media on it. But chances are you have some sort of media that you want to transfer from your computer to your Android tablet. And that's what this video is all about. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in my USB cord into my Android tablet here. And then I'm going to plug that USB cord into my Windows computer. Now right away you'll see an autoplay window pop up. And if you're using a Windows PC like I am, it gives you a couple of options here. On the tablet itself, if you notice on the notifications area here, it says that it's connected as a media device and it has Asus Sync enabled, which allows you to sync PC information. So that just is telling me that the devices are communicating with each other. So I'm going to put the Android tablet to the side and I'm going to focus on my Windows PC here. Now, what you can do is use this autoplay window to go to the area that you want, or you can actually go to the start menu and go to my computer. I'm just going to select this option here where it says open device to view files. And you can actually get this area if you went to the start menu to computer, and you'll notice over here a portable device down here is the Transformer Prime, and you can actually explore it from there as well. It's basically the same window. I'm just going to use this window here and I'm going to dive a little bit deeper here. And as you can see, you have a whole bunch of menus, a whole bunch of folders that are on the Android tablet. In this case, like I said, the Asus Transformer Prime. So typically, if you want to put media on your device, you want to put pictures, you want to put music, or you want to put videos. If you're using an Android phone, you might actually want to put ringtones on it as well. So what you want to do is familiarize yourself with the folders that are on your Android tablet. Now most of these files you can disregard, but you want to look for a couple of files that are characteristic media files. The first of which is the DCIM file. Now if you're familiar with digital cameras at all, generally the DCIM file is where digital camera photos are stored. So if I wanted to drop a photo onto my Asus ePad Transformer Prime, I could just drag a file from my desktop or from wherever right into that file folder and then it would be in my camera folder. The next folder down here is movies. Now, if I had a movie file on my desktop, on my PC here, I could drag it over into this file and then it would be on my Android tablet. I'm going to scroll down here a little bit more. And over here you see a folder for screenshots. Now, if you've looked at any of my other videos on the Asus ePad Transformer Prime, I've shown you that you can actually take screenshots with the device. So this is where those screenshots are actually stored. If you wanted to pull that off of the tablet, you'd go into this file folder here. Let's go into the second column over here, and you'll notice a music folder here. Now, if you live here in the United States, you probably have access to Google Music, and that might be the easiest way to get music on your tablet. Because you sync your music collection up to the Google Cloud, and then you can stream that music onto your device. But if you want to put music on your tablet locally, this would be the file folder to use. Let's scroll down a little bit further here. We have a pictures folder. Now in the case of this tablet, those pictures are just stock pictures that came with the device. But it's your tablet, you can do whatever you want with it. If you want to put pictures into this picture file, you could do it now just by dragging a picture and throwing it into the folder. Down here you have ringtones. This is a tablet, it's not a phone, but if it was a phone, you could use the ringtones. Obviously it's just a folder here, so if you had sounds that you wanted to use for notifications on your tablet, you could drop them in here and access them from there. And I think that's pretty much it as far as folders go. So what I'm just gonna show you here very simply is I'm going to drag a royalty-free song here, 
which I generally use as the end theme for my videos here. It's called Robo Western. And I'm just dragging it straight from my desktop and I'm going to drop it into my music file folder here on the device. Now it's not on the device yet, but it will be once I drop this in here. So I'm just going to drop it in. And I get this dialog box here. It says, do you want to copy Robo Western MP3 to your device? Of course I do. I'm going to click yes. And it will drop it right on the Transformer Prime. So let me X out of this. So now I'm going to unplug my Asus Transformer Prime. And I'm going to show you that that MP3 file is now on my tablet. So here we go, I have the Transformer Prime in the keyboard dock, and I'm just going to go to the music app over here. So I'm going to scroll here over to my Royalty Free Music by Kevin McLeod. Now I have several other selections from him on this device, but I didn't have Robo Western on here. So I'm going to click on this selection here, which is my Royalty Free Music, and as you can see right here, the second selection is Robo Western. As I said before, it wasn't on the device up until about a minute ago. All I had to do was drop it into the music folder and it appeared here synced up to the correct playlist. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Robo Western here. And there we go. As you can hear, it's playing perfect. And that's how you load media onto your Android tablet. Very simple and very straightforward. So that pretty much does it for this video. I'll see you guys next time.